Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world. Goddamn cryptocurrency. That's right. So I made a fantastic video yesterday about Drip and Animal Farm, and then just before I was about to release it, a uh, bombshell was dropped. Oh my God. So we're gonna break it all down in this video today. We're gonna talk about bots, about fractional piglets, we're gonna talk about FUD, we're gonna talk about Team 3, we're gonna talk about Animal Farm, Piggy Bank, we're gonna look at the drip price and talk a lot about market cycles and the drip cycle. We're gonna examine the chart a little bit and I'm gonna tell you what my plan is with my bags, which I'm sure you're all a little bit, you know, fear, greed, at the moment there's a little bit of fear, but I'm actually quite relieved that this step has been taken. And we're going to be checking out the new sneak peek on the fresh, snazzy drip user interface, which is being overhauled and released extremely soon. This was actually overshadowed by the other news, but it looks really great. We're going to have a little preview of the video. If you haven't seen it yet, you haven't seen it doing the rounds. Mm. So let's talk about it. What happened? Yesterday, uh, for me, just in the evening, right, I was at band practice, had a guitar, was fucking screaming, singing away, it was great, and then I just got a bing, yeah, Forex Shark calls, the announcement telegram that he has, and I'm not going to read out what he said, I'm just going to tell you my understanding of it. The launch of the piggy bank, although in the immediacy after it was launched, it seemed like it had been a great success, but a day after it, it's... There was reports coming in from a DAP that I use that one holder had managed to get, uh, oh God, about 20% of the buying power by getting in a millisecond after the launch. So this is not fair. And that was defined to be a bot by the developer BB. And it was eradicated, decapitated, smashed in the face and wiped out. And I thought, okay, great, the bot's out the way, selling pressure is relieved. At the same time, there were other complaints that people with smaller deposits into the piggy bank couldn't actually compound because they didn't have enough piglets. So that was also an issue that was brought and you know there was a lot of FUD about it. So it was both addressed by Forex. He initially said that um, because of these two issues, there are more bots that they discovered and they thought they could just say, ah, oh well, that's DeFi, hey, the bots got in, now everyone else is going to be losing to uh, automatic selling bots in this piggy bank, meaning that they're going to get a larger portion of the share over time and us, actual legitimate investors and team builders, are going to get left with the short set, the short straw. He said he's not going to do that. So he decided he must fix the piggy bank. At the same time, this uh, problem with fractional piglets and not being able to compound because you haven't put in enough capital uh, was also not fair in his opinion. So the solution was, is to number one, pause the animal farm completely. Pause all farms and all pools, not the garden that's still open for business. Drip faucet, of course, is still running as drip faucet will, 1% daily for your 365 days, compound and extend that. So that's all good, but that means that even if you put in BNB, BUSD, uh, Bitcoin or whatever into Animal Farm at the moment, it is paused. Now, any other developer could do that and I'd be really worried, but Forex is not any developer. Trust in Forex is what I'm saying. We are also gonna talk about the community airdrop for Team One today. Uh, it's based on this video. I'm gonna tell you about that at the end of today's video, by the way. So watch till the end to find out how to get into Team One's community drip airdrop. Now, he also spoke about the fractionalized piglets and how to fix that. And the only solution to do that is to create a new pigs token. That's right. So in order to do this, of course, if he announced this and said, we're going to migrate pigs into new pigs and, you know, there's no pigs and dogs are frozen, what immediately everyone would do would be they would take out their capital from the farm. And then when it was launched again, they probably wouldn't have put it back in. But that means they'd have to pay the 4% or 6% deposit fees again, which would have been yet more fun. So I can understand why he just paused everything. So now you cannot buy or sell pigs token. You cannot unstake from the farm. Everything on the animal farm side of the project is paused for a short time until it's fixed. Migrate over, migrate the entire piggy bank 
into the new contract, which means all your stakes that you've made in the piggy bank are going to be migrated too. That's my understanding of it. And once Animal Farm is reopened, all of your tokens, your non-native tokens, non-core tokens, your BNB, your Bitcoin and stuff will still be there. Emissions will start again and we will begin the happy life that we did have in the Animal Farm just before it. So that's the news, right? So of course, with this kind of news, it's pretty scary. Uh, a lot of people got worried about it. And then I thought, I'm gonna have a little, do a little bit of research, okay? I'm gonna have a look through what's been going on on YouTube if I just type in drip token. And I realized that there are a hell, a hell of a lot of FUD videos about the drip network, about Animal Farm, about Forex. Um, and I don't agree with that. Freedom of speech, you can say what you want. But then I started thinking, you know, where are these guys coming from? Are they developers of other projects? Are they jealous of Drip's success? Do they want to fund the project because they have other projects in mind? Are they working for different kind of agendas than we are, which is to achieve financial freedom, get that passive income? And I came to the conclusion that some of them might be frustrated by the strictness of the telegram of, you know, like a lot of people ask arbitrary questions, they ask Monotonous questions, the same questions again and again. Sir, why is the drip price going down? Oh, where is my airdrop? <laughs> you know, these kind of questions. And the rhetoric that's always been in the drip community, also before even when there was the R34P token and BR34P token, there was a telegram for that, would be that if anyone asks a question in a funny kind of way, best way is just to get them out there immediately. Just clear them out. And it pretty much sticks with this tool today. I agree with this because if you want to complain about the project, you can open your own telegram. I have my own telegram, link in the description. We talk about drip. I'm a bit more lenient, but you know, I don't like super FUD. You can make conversations about this privately. What is a telegram for? Telegram group is for generally for newer investors to get into the project and find out what's the lay of the land. How is the community responding to what's happening with the prices of the token? What kind of growth? What new announcements do they have? What news can they get about it? They don't want to go into Telegram and find continuous uh, negativity, yeah? Ask any billionaire in the world. He will tell you, right? I watched an interview with Vince McMahon the other day. That is the CEO of the WWE, right? From nothing, from a trailer park. They asked him, what is your mentality? You know, why don't you answer any kind of negativity? He said, I don't even comprehend negativity. If there's negativity, I'm gonna wipe it out. And that is what has to be done sometimes in a DeFi project because the prices of tokens are linked intrinsically to our own humanity, yeah? Why do prices go up and down? Because people buy and sell and also bots, fucking bots. <laughs> and has to be controlled. We have to have our emotions checked sometimes. But yeah, that's my two cents on it. On the FUD, I don't agree with it, okay? If you don't like the project, just move on. Find another project. There are millions of DeFi projects. You know, why make a whole YouTube account to just FUD a project? Can't believe it. Like, life's too short, man. Life's too short. Jesus. Bet they didn't even airdrop anyone. Zero airdrops. Yeah, they just took your money. Probably they have a referral link on their FUD video, yeah? Join my team, by the way, even though I'm FUDding. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, so let's get into the screen and I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on with the farm. I'm gonna give you my opinion on it and we're gonna have a look at this uh, drip price. I'm gonna explain my thoughts on the drip cycle of price. This is a sponsored video for my channel by me. By team three, rich or wrecked, guaranteed weekly airdrops for anyone who wants to get into Drip now without uh, building a huge bag and still being get uh, receiving weekly airdrops, or someone who's just looking to build a second account and grow it in the natural way by compounding and getting airdrops to help them boost their passive income. The way I'm doing this is every Monday from the Drip Team Three link in the description, we are going to be airdropping. Next week is anyone with five plus drip is going to be airdropped. Following that, we're going to have anyone with 25 plus is going to be airdropped. And then 50 plus drip is going to be airdropped. Last week we had the 50 plus airdrop and it was about 2.2 drip per person because there's not many big whales in this one yet, which is great. With the decline of the drip price, it might be a fantastic time to just pack your bags and join that team three. 
Okay, so here we are. We are in the piggy bank on Animal Farm. This is paused, like everything is paused, okay? I can uh, not sell my truffle. So for example, here we have the team piggy bank account. I hydrated it yesterday. We went up from 1984 piglets to 2059. I have another $3,225 in it, this is the one that we'll be using for airdrops. The first thing I wanna check is, even though this is paused, if I pressed on sell truffles, right, it gives me a 0.1 estimated fee and it rejects itself, I just waste the gas. So don't even try sell, you're gonna lose 0.01 BNB. Um, but I can feed my piglets, so for example, here I have 522, I can compound, that's not a problem. So we'll compound that one, we have $131 here, I'll also compound this one, okay? All good there, but again, neither of them I can actually sell. The problem with the fractional piglets would be, for example, this small stake I made here, I get four piglets for it, and I cannot uh, compound because I don't have enough truffles. I need to build up a lot of truffles before I can actually compound it. So that's one issue they're gonna fix in the V2 of the piggy bank, which everything here, as far as I understand it, is being moved over to the other piggy bank. So all of my piglets, I'm not sure about available truffles, that's why I keep compounding, right? And the time remaining, the max payout, everything's gonna be moved over. The only thing that is changing is the fact that we're gonna be able to compound and sell with a smaller investment, which is good, fair for the, the smaller um, investor too. So the issue I have, personal issue, yeah, our team issue, yeah, we have this insane team. Look at this team, it's nuts, absolutely wild, right? This team will not grow and it will not shrink because again, the contract is essentially paused apart from for compounding. But the deal has always been that I'm gonna be airdropping every Sunday. At the moment though, I cannot. There's no function to airdrop, right? I can do nothing here. We can do nothing. There's only copy my referral link, which is, what's the point? <laughs> so I cannot airdrop you, but we will renew the airdrops as soon as it is re uploaded, re restarted, all I'm gonna be doing then is compounding uh, continuously every day because I'm not gonna just build up a massive bag of truffles and then sell it and dump everyone. That's not the way that legitimate investors or team builders are. We were supposed to be responsible. So you have my um, promise that I will just be compounding these truffles every time I get the chance to. So it's about $4,000 a day that we're compounding, which is great. So hopefully, fingers crossed, once, Forex is done with the back end work. We launch this, everything's back to normal. We'll have an even bigger bag to airdrop than we did have before. Good news, I think it's great because I didn't want bots. I don't want someone that I don't even know that's just got a script that's automatically selling and selling and selling as soon as they can and just draining this contract, which has a hell of a lot of pigs BUSD in here. That's one million tokens of pigs BUSD in here, LP tokens. So good move, good move really. Unfortunate, of course, but that's DeFi. You'll see down at the bottom, my head's in the way, but the price of pigs and dogs is completely frozen too. We come to the farms. Paused. Everything's paused, see? Dogs BUSD, paused. BNB, drip BUSD, paused. I have a hell of a lot of drip BUSD in here. What is it, like $75,000? Am I worried? No, I'm not, because trust in Forex. But everything, non-native, uh, stable coins, paused, right? Everything, pools, paused. Yeah, you get the gist. Only thing that's not paused is the garden. Drip garden is working just as it was before, which is great. So you can still get in the garden. You can still use the liberation contract, pair up your drip BUSD and get into the garden if you shall wish. So we can still use the garden on Animal Farm, but for all intents and purposes, the farm is paused, not stopped. Yeah, not draining. I'm pretty sure all of the money is still here. Yeah, there we are, money's still here. Everything's fine, just there's still $3 million in the vault to pay out the stakers for pigs, okay? Everything's as is. Just the emissions are no longer going. So what can we do? What can we do? I mean, we can do nothing. All we can do is wait. Which brings us to Drip, right? Drip had an amazing announcement yesterday, which got completely overshadowed by the whole palaver with the animal farm. So in case you missed it, we're gonna watch it. Uh, right here live today. This is the premiere of the new Drip UI.
Drip swap. Oh yeah. There's our old faucet, looking good. Okay, so that is the short video by Forex that he put up. Yes, so one of the big issues with Drip is that I've even seen videos of big investors who go into Drip, they see what's the palaver, why is this thing doing so well? They look at the website and they think, ah, it doesn't look so great, I'm not gonna invest in this. So what Forex has done is he's hired uh, or used the research done by uh, multiple investment companies and taken a slice of their um, inspiration and designed the new Drip UI to be based around a good financial product which is gonna be really bullish in the long term for Drip. Of course, if we come to the chart, this is what we're gonna be talking about right now. This is the entire life cycle of Drip, right? Currently, we're sitting at a price of $62 per Drip. I mean, we were talking last week and we're just about $80 to $90. It's been a very slow but steady decline from the heady heights of 193. Remember I was in San Yan, we broke $100 and I was drunk and I was having a great time. Well, those days are over, but they will be back. <laughs> I believe that drip does go through market cycles and now I'm gonna to explain to you how they work. They're all to do, of course, with how many people are onboarding into drip, how many people are compounding, how many people are claiming. That's the token essentially, right? The pairing with BUSD that happened um, a few months back, pretty much here when this huge pump started in January, we paired up with BUSD um, because the garden was created. This did have an amazing impact on drip. Look at that pump, it was fantastic. We thought we were gonna go up forever, but life is not like that. We cannot go up forever. Now. If you were in, not into drip before, like I was into drip day one, lucky enough, and we had very similar things happening, right? Here we have the initial launch and a pump up to $8. We thought, that's it, we're onto it. But then there was a very low decline to an all-time low on this chart of about $2, okay? Then we had an amazing pump and we went all the way up to $63. We thought, Jesus, $63, this is hitting $100 anytime and i even made videos back then in july saying drip's going to be a hundred dollars just believe in it just buy in just team build and you will make yourself great great money and it didn't happen yeah but i knew it would happen we had a decline in that cycle we came all the way down again to a floor of what's that four dollars yeah roughly four to five dollars was the floor of the first that second cycle of drip god People were losing their shit. Really, people were going nuts. They're like, oh my God, this is a Ponzi. We're gonna lose all our money. Oh, Forex is a scammer. This whole thing's rubbish. It's so badly organized, blah, 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 blah. And it bounced. Why did it bounce? Because we started up this new bullish cycle of news, right? The news initially was about drip and a NFT game, but that quickly got moved aside for the fact that we were gonna be launching the garden. We were gonna be launching Animal Farm. And we pumped. We pumped all the way up to just just over $100 and then a sell-off, a massive sell-off all the way down to $50 again. And the fear began again, but it was a very short cycle this one. We pumped, giga pump, boom, right up to under $200. The days, the heady days were great. We floored quite soon afterwards, hung around $100 for a while. At the launch of Animal Farm, drip began to decline again. And now we're sitting where we are at $63. If we're gonna guess, right, I'm gonna take a guess, right, I'm gonna predict what's gonna to happen to the price of drip now. I don't know if I'm gonna be right, don't trust my, my, my charting skill, but it is, drip is a token which I've followed from day one, so I kind of think I've get the groove of it. What I think is gonna happen is that we have two areas here. We have $50, which is a huge psychological area for drip, because as you can see, the first big pump hit it, the second big hump floored it, and now we're coming down to it again. If we break $50, I think we will be hitting down to about $25 per drip price. This is worst case scenario. But if we bounce, I think we can sit and steady around this $50 to $60 range for a good while. If we can stay $50 to $60 for about, you know, until Animal Farm gets kicking again, and the drip, drip new uh, user interface is ready and launched fully successful without any bugs or anything, fingers crossed, everything's gonna go well, trust in Forex, then we will be building this area of consolidation just like we did around about this time from October all the way until December, right? That was a long two months, yeah? Things just weren't really, you know, nothing was really going on in terms of price. We were from 20, 
dollars down to six dollars back to twenty dollars that was just roughly what's happening what were what were we doing during that time we were compounding we were onboarding yeah we were not selling drip more than we were compounding because that's the whole idea how do you win on this project number one how to win drip team build right Team building is the thing that's going to get you the highest amount of referral rewards, which are going to build your deposits, which are going to give you better passive income. Then you can airdrop with your higher level of deposits to onboard more people, which will help to pump the price of drip. Number two, compounding, right? What we're going to do right now. I have 18 drip here, $1,000. I could take that $1,000, think, oh, I'm going to take the money. I'm scared. I'm fearful. I think the drip's going to go down lower. But I want more drip. I don't care so much in the immediate future about the price of drip token. I just want more drip. I want a fully maxed out 30,000 drip deposits in here. I want to max this account out. Then, I, you know, all I can do is claim. Then I've reached Valhalla and I can start to claim and enjoy the profits that have come from my over a year, almost one year worth of hard work and chilling on this. And that's what we do. We hydrate. We hydrate towards our goal. Especially now, because the price is in an uncomfortable position, that I think the best thing that I can do as a community leader, right, and a team leader, is to hydrate the Team One account, definitely. And of course, from this account, we airdrop 250 drip every single week on Sundays, no matter what the drip price is. I was airdropping 250 when drip was $180. I was airdropping drip when I was airdropping drip when drip was $4. Doesn't matter. We're always going to be airdropping, and that is today's community task. So on Sunday, we have the community airdrop. That's going to be for um, anyone in the community on Team One who gets involved with the Google Sheet and the task that I'm going to give you right now. The Google Sheet is in the description of this video, just above the information for joining any of my drip teams. And the task, do the task. You have to reply in this video with positivity for drip, animal farm, or for pigs, dogs, the future of the projects. Anything that you think is bullish about drip could be the new UI, the fact that the pigs are being migrated, which has actually saved us from bots, which some people will see as negative, but I think it's positive. The fact that even Forex paused all withdrawals so that he protects everything that's in the farm for us for when we reopen. The new NFT game that's going to be coming out. The fact that we're going to be able to use lending on drip in the future. The a strange, possibly real pancake swap partnership, which has not fully been announced, but there are big rumors about it. The partnership with Betfury, which is coming up, a great crypto gambling site. Or the fact that you just love me and the fact that I <laughs> airdrop you every goddamn week. Something of positivity in my comment section. I want to squash the FUD out of this video because really if you look through some of my past videos that I've been doing on drip there's been more comments of FUD from community members not in our community not on our team coming into my videos and sowing discontent putting their minions to work to try and make the market sentimentality negative towards this project and I just want to squash it so that's the task fill out the Google sheet you will put in your wallet address for team one okay you must be on team one to get this you will click that you've subscribed to this channel you will click that you have put down a positive comment and you will leave your YouTube name, your U YouTube name so I can find you, okay? Check the comments, see who's put in there. And if you see any fudders, I will even allow, you don't need to put anything positive, just destroy the fud, smash the fud, okay? That's another way you can get into the community airdrop. This video, smash any fudders, destroy them. They're not welcome here, get out my videos. Unsubscribe from my channel if you don't like drip because I love it. That's as far as I'm gonna say on this, okay? So we've hydrated. Another way that you can help support Drip would be joining the reservoir. In total, on all my accounts, I own about a 1% stake in the reservoir. What it does is because a lot of the Drip uh, LP is tied with BUSD, which is great for a bear market because we're not getting the negative sell pressure that's happening to BNB token, which has also been sliding down. In case you haven't noticed, a lot of tokens are losing value. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> but having the other um, two liquidity pools which are full and generating uh, like you know a lot of LP will actually help the the price of drip stabilize so having a higher value of uh, BNB in the reservoir is also a great way the reservoir is a way to earn BNB as you can see I've 
added in my stake of 0.8 drops in this account, but I have a compounded total of 1.8 BNB since the beginning of this. Um, and as soon as it gets to 0.1, I just continually compound this uh, reservoir, just adding in. I, I don't think I'll ever take my share out of the reservoir because I just like to add that certain amount of stability to the team, to you guys. You're welcome. So that's the video really. It's, it's about the, the news. It's about, you know, we need to be, uh, we need to be fearless sometimes in DeFi and we also have to be trustless at times if we find a developer which we do believe can do the right thing. And I think Forex is the person who's going to do the right thing for the community. He already has, he already will. Yeah, we've been with him if you watch this channel from the beginning, from the very first token he launched and we've been following ever since. And he's never really disappointed me at all. So that's it. Peace. Don't get ready.